Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. There is absolute sorcery right now. Look at the sorcery. Scene folder one. I've got scene one, two, three, four. Scene folder two, five, six, seven, eight. Wicked. Scene folder three. I've got scene nine in there. Scene folder in a folder. Scene. T scene folder in a folder in a folder. Scene. Scene folder in a folder in a folder in a folder. What even is this about? Organize your scenes absolutely beautifully. It's so easy to use. Let's get into it. Put your rock into the stone. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Are you tired of listening to the same royalty-free music? Well, Owned Pro have got your back. They've recently just partnered with Epidemic Sound. So with their Plus membership, you will actually get access to a huge library of music and sounds that are all completely royalty-free. And what's better, you can save yourself a huge 50% off your membership using offer code Andy50Pro. All the links are in the description and they go a huge way to supporting the channel. Thank you, Own Pro, for sponsoring this portion of the video. So first of all, let's get this bad boy downloaded and installed. It's just on the OBS website, just here. If you just go down in the links in the description, everything's there. All the info here is available for you if you just want to read through it. It is available for Windows and Linux. So we're just going to head to go to download in the top right. That's going to take us to the GitHub page. And if we just scroll down to the bottom, you'll see assets. And you're just going to download the zip file just here. And that will download. It might say that it's dangerous, all that jazz. Just press keep because it's all fine. All you need to do is open the zip file and you'll see two folders in there, data and OBS plugins. We're just going to copy both of them and we're going to put them in your OBS studio folders. So that is usually on your PC in the C drive and then you can go in either program files or program files 86. Mine's in program files and we're looking for OBS dash studio all lowercase. So we're going to go in there and we're just going to paste it directly into that folder. It's going to ask for admin privileges, just say do this for all items and press continue and then that will get that all installed so you're ready to go. So now we can open up OBS, so if I open it up just here, it's actually going to bring up this small little box in the middle and it will have all your scenes in it. This is the plugin in question, this is how it works. What I'd recommend doing is just dragging it down to wherever you've got your scenes list and put it over the top like so. Because that way you, you can access your old scene list if you need to and obviously switch between the two. And this is super easy to do. So we can press the plus sign and we can create a scene. So I'm going to call this scene 2, press OK. And it's just creating a scene like normal. And you can see that if you go to the scene section at the bottom just here. So this is the, the traditional scene list that is inside of OBS normally and this is this one from the plugin and you can see we've got the two scenes just here. So I'm just going to add some sources to these scenes. So I'm going to add a color source on one of them. So if we go to a color source, uh, we'll have it as white and then we'll add the just chatting one and we'll add another color source just so you can see that we're changing scene. We'll call it color source two and this time we'll uh, choose a lovely pink color. Ay, yeah, yeah. Press OK. And we're going to add a, another scene, we'll call it scene 3. So now we've got three scenes. And as you can see, this is able to switch scenes as normal. Obviously, it's just using the standard cut transition at the moment, because that's the only thing that I've got set up for it. So now we've got the, the scenes created, we can actually start adding folders. So to do that, we just press this little folder button down at the bottom, and it will create this default folder name. So we can double click on that and call it a name. So we'll call this just chatting folder press enter and now all the scenes that we want inside that folder all we need to do is click and drag so if i just click and drag we can add it to that folder so i'm going to add all of these to the folder just here and as you can see right now it looks like we've got no scenes we've just got one scene that says just chatting folder if we go to scenes it displays all our scenes standard like that but going back to the plugin scene view we can actually press a little arrow on the left hand side and we can see all of the scenes that are in that folder we can click on each one to to change the scene as we would do normally and we can add as many different folders as we want we can even put a folder within a folder so if i call this folder 2 for instance like that 
we can actually put the just chatting scene inside folder 2 which is nested inside another folder so if we want to get rid of a folder as well we can actually if I create a folder just here uh, what you can do is we can press the minus button and that will delete the folder the only thing is which could be seen as a good feature is anything that's inside a folder will be deleted as well so if I select folder 2 that's got that just chatting scene in here I press the minus button it's actually gonna say are you sure you want to remove just chatting and that's gonna actually delete that scene as well which can be quite useful if you need to bulk delete something it will ask you if you want to delete each one individually as well so renaming a folder we can just double click on it same for renaming a scene double click on each one as well one other nice thing with this is is on all of your scenes you can actually still right click them and do all the normal stuff that you'd be able to do with your scenes as well like obviously rename it remove it you've got filters the transition override all the normal stuff that you were able to do before so you don't actually have to use that um, traditional scene list but it's there in case you do need it at all you can rearrange all your scenes as normal by just clicking and dragging and that'll move them into folders, out of folders, reorder them as well. This makes for organizing all of your folders, scenes, everything like that so much better. Obviously you can do this kind of thing get inside sources because you can group them together. Well now you can group your scenes together. You guys are going to absolutely love this one. It is so good, so easy to use. Big shout out to all these people that help me make this content full time. And if you want to help me, then please consider joining Patreon or the channel members down below or super thanks. You know, all that jazz It is massively appreciated. If you do have any questions, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below and make sure you do feed it back on the OBS website as well. And check out one of these videos here because that will massively help your stream. All right, put your rug over the stone. See you in the next one.